let me go ahead and highlight the five ways to grow givers and giving in any church anywhere. All five ways begin with the letter I. The first way is to instruct from the Bible. Stewardship, generosity, and giving is first and foremost about the Bible, not the church budget. It's about faith raising, not just fundraising. It's about spiritual formation, not just financial transaction. The budget is a spending plan, but it is never to be the giving goal at your church. The giving goal needs to be to effectively teach people to honor God with whatever he has given them. It's about the Bible, not the budgets and the bills or the buildings. I became a senior pastor at a church that hadn't been meeting their budget because they've been trying to teach people to give to the budget. I shared with my leaders, while I'm the pastor, we'll teach people to give because of the Bible, not because of the budget. Over the next 10 years, every year but one, we surpassed our operating budget, we increased our missions giving, we completed renovation projects, we started caring for overseas orphans and needy children, and we increased our giving into the community tenfold. This happened because of a Bible message, not a budget message. The second way is to influence with resources. I have spent many years writing generosity devotionals, books, curriculum, and financial materials for churches to help instruct people in God's word, ignite people's faith, inspire generosity, and increase giving. From my experiences serving churches across America and even around the world, I have learned that putting biblically-based financial and generosity resources into people's hands powerfully changes their attitudes and actions about their living and giving. Over the years, I know of hundreds of churches that have experienced double-digit giving increases through the wise use of financial and generosity resources at their church. The third way is to involve with systems. Spiritual leaders are instructed in the scriptures to collect gifts and offerings. In today's day and age, you must do everything you can to help your people to become faithful and joyful givers by making it as easy as you can for anyone and everyone to give. Today, the need is for churches to create as many ways as possible for people to easily and faithfully give to the Lord's work at and through their local church. It can be offering plates, a box in the back, envelopes in the pews, donation iPads in the lobby, online giving, text giving, app giving, stock gifts, gifts in kind, asset-based giving, and estate and legacy giving are all viable ways a church can help make it easy and possible for their church families to be joyful, generous, and faithful givers. God has blessed your people with many financial resources and possessions, but it is your responsibility as church leaders and staff to set up the proper collection systems to receive these gifts. Campaigns and special offerings are also ways to inspire, ignite, and encourage giving. Building campaigns, benevolence offerings, pay off the debt campaigns, missions giving, pastor and staff appreciation offerings, outreach offerings, and other campaigns can unleash generosity in your church. The fourth way is to inspire with stories. The Bible is filled with generosity stories. The little boy with the five loaves and the two fish, the widow's mite, the Macedonian Christians giving generously out of their poverty, David and the leaders giving out of their accumulated wealth, Barnabas giving his land, the widow giving in all she had to live on, the prostitute's alabaster perfume worth a year's wages, and the Israelites giving the plunder from the riches they received from the Egyptians, and Jesus giving his life for you and for me. Generosity begets generosity. Share stories of provision and generosity, biblical stories, your personal stories, and the stories of people in your congregation or constituency. Stories will unleash generosity in unprecedented ways. The fifth way is to ignite with vision. Finances and resources do not flow to needy churches and ministries. Finances and resources flow to need meeting churches and ministries. You need to be doing valid ministry today and have a written vision for your God-given future that inspires people's heads, hearts, hands, and their investment of their hard-earned resources. So what are the five keys to growing joyful givers and giving in any size church, anywhere of any size? Instruct from the Bible, influence with resources, involve with systems, inspire with stories, and ignite with vision. Thanks for allowing me to share this training session with you. May the Lord bless you and make you a blessing as you discuss and plan and work on these things together.